Okay, welcome to another Lunar Flight video. So in this video, we're going to continue on with our new profile that we created. Uh, when I started doing a couple videos on Lunar Flight, I resumed a an existing profile, and that profile was already pretty well uh, leveled up to the maximum. So I reset everything back to zero, starting from scratch. And, um, and in the first couple videos in the From Scratch series, we were using the Crater uh, map. And I think we did like three or four missions on there. We did enough that we got a uh, level up. So let's try map number two. And we're just going to pretty much do lost cargo missions. Uh, maybe maybe a data survey, but I just... I find of the three types, and as I've said this before, that the, uh, the lost cargos are kind of the most interesting. I do wish there were a couple of more options. Um, but regardless, let's uh, move on. So, yeah, missions uh, 1 and 2 down in the lower left, those are pretty much always transport. 3 and 4 are always data survey. And then the 5 and 6 are lost cargo. So this one is going to have the cargo located somewhere south of Bravo. So let's take a look at the map. So we're at Alpha and then south of Bravo, you know, is going to be anywhere along that line. So let's just go ahead. Let's actually look at the other one first. So that's going to be west of Bravo. So our two options are to find cargo here in this line somewhere, basically, or along this line. So let's go ahead and pick the south of Bravo just because we're um, a little bit closer to that one. So let's go to the previous mission, accept it, and then let's make sure the transponder's on, and it is. So let's bring up the map on this side, uh, probably the C camera on that side. Maybe I'll switch that. And finally, we are all uh, topped up on fuel and repair. We do have one more uh, slot available for additional fuel, so let's go ahead and buy one more fuel. That way we're all maxed out on everything. And all right, let's go ahead and start our mission. So I'll probably just go ahead and head straight uh, left or straight west and then... Um, actually, I should probably head to Bravo and then go down the line because if I go straight across, then I don't know if I'm if I need to go north towards Bravo or continue south. So let's actually go towards Bravo. So actually, let me put Bravo on the map. All right, and let's uh, power up and head out. So let me think, which way do I need to rotate? I believe I need to rotate to the right. I think that's a little bit shorter. And yeah, we're just going to head straight over to Bravo. In fact, we might actually just go ahead and stop at Bravo and top up our fuel. So you can see Bravo's not that far away. All right, and go ahead and pitch forward and put in some velocity in the horizontal direction so we can get moving over there. It's not real far away, only 700 meters, so we don't want to go too fast. So that's probably fast enough. And that V rate's probably higher than I want it to be. All right. Oh, I'm already getting a blip, so maybe we will actually just go ahead and try to locate the module right away. So it's going to be south of Bravo. Just take a look here. See if I happen to see it out my left window. Not blip's already gone. Let's just go ahead and head to Bravo, um, and then we'll refuel. I think that'll just make things a bit simpler. And then we'll go straight south from Bravo. Just trying to get the roll set close to zero. All right, let's go ahead and start eliminating some velocity. Well, maybe not quite yet. But we do need to pay attention to our vertical rate so we don't slam into the ground here. So we go ahead and zero some of that out. Should be good for now. Three hundred meters out. Let's see. Do we think we need to eliminate our forward velocity quite yet? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes because I often overestimate how far I can go, and then I end up overshooting. So let's eliminate some of this velocity. Say that's good. It's probably more than I needed to get rid of. And then we'll bring our V-rate closer to zero. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I could be in trouble. That was close. 
that was close. And yeah, I took out too much forward velocity. So definitely not being the most fuel efficient here. But let's go ahead and get landed at Bravo and then we will we'll head we will head out in search of the module. As you get more fuel efficiency upgrades, it's not uh, you can get you can go a lot farther between refuelings, but I feel like if I am unable to locate the module quickly, um, you know, I might end up burning through my fuel, so I'm gonna go ahead and just top back up while I'm here. <coughs> Start slowing things down in preparation for touchdown. And we're almost over top of the landing pad. Okay, now we just need to settle down on the landing pad. There we go. All right, let's top up our fuel and then just immediately head out. All right, so we need to rotate. South, obviously, but I, th I think I need to go to the right. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. I don't know. I get a little. I get a little confused. But we're just gonna uh, go straight south. All right, add in some forward velocity here. And let's see if we can locate this module. So I don't want to climb too high because I, I'm not actually sure how the transponder works in this game. If it's strictly based on your horizontal proximity or if it's based on total distance. All right, let's start looking at the ground. I think I actually might see it. Mm, maybe not. All right, let's go back to the zero position on our pitch and get rid of some of the descent. And hopefully we'll get some feedback from the transponder soon, letting us know that we are, you know, closing in on the module, the lost cargo, I should say. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be straight below me because if it were, I would be getting notification. Okay, there's our alert. So we're going the right way. I just, I don't see it yet. Let's just keep going forward. Maybe it's over that ridge. I feel like the signal might be getting weaker. Let me just go forward a little bit more. No, okay, we've lost it, so it's behind us, or to the left or to the right of us. <clears throat> so let's just pitch back and eliminate all the forward velocity that we have. Start moving backwards a little bit. And let me just get in a little bit of uh, increasing my altitude, and I'm going to rotate around just to kind of look for it. Mm -hmm. 
it's usually fairly easy to see. Oh, actually, I see it. I flew right over top of it. It's right there. I'll put the velocity vector over top of it. Right there. Alright, let's get back to the zero position here. See all forward so that we're facing it. Yeah, I pretty much, I think I flew over top of it, but I think it was in my blind spot. I think that's why I didn't see it. But let's go recover this module, fly it back to whichever base it needs to go to, and then we'll get our reward money. Oh, my roll was way out. So we're almost there, just a few more meters to go. And as we get closer, of course, the frequency of the transponder speeds up. But we've already located it at this point. This is one of the few times that the transponder found it before I saw it. Now we just have to hover down slowly so that we don't slam into the ground. And we also want to eliminate most of our forward velocity. So I think we should be close enough. All right, so let's go to the cargo screen, turn off the transponder, recover the module, and let's see where we need to fly it to. <clears throat> needs to go to Charlie, so let's bring up the map, put in Charlie. And I think we may have enough fuel to get over there. Let's, let's hopefully we don't need to uh, use one of our... Actually, we may need to use fuel because now that we have the lost cargo, we're a lot heavier. So I'll just go ahead and grab one now so I don't have to think about it. All right, so we're just going to rotate around to Charlie and head over there. And it's only 500 meters out, so we want to be, like always, conscientious about our forward velocity. Take a quick look at the external just to see what we're looking at here. Alright, let's pitch back to level. And we're way out on our roll like way 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 out why am I so far out I don't understand where this roll is coming from Maybe I put in the roll because I thought I was translating and I just grabbed the wrong stick. Let's see if we can get ourselves back to a straight and level flight, more or less. Still have a bit of pitch angle in there. Whew, that got a bit squirrely there for a second. I was putting in rolls, so I, mu I must have though. Yeah, I must have thought that I was translating and instead I was rolling. All right, now we're going to translate a bit to the left. Yeah, good thing I got that extra fuel because we did end up needing it. I think we would have needed it even if I hadn't fumbled the controls. change around so I'm facing the direction I'm flying towards. Alright, somebody commented that I come in too close to those solar panels and the, the blast thrust 
probably destroys them. They're probably right on that. So we'll come in a little higher this time. And we'll try not to uh, blast when we're over the solar panels. Uh-oh. Yeah, I didn't take out my forward velocity soon enough. I hope I don't hit that antenna. That's awfully close. Alright, let's back up a little bit. Okay, so we're almost down. I definitely like landing when I'm when the landing pad's in front of me. I have a much better sense of oh boy, oh boy. Uh oh. Ah, we screwed this up big time. And by we I mean me. Can we recover? Well, I suppose crashes can be fun to watch sometimes. See, did we ruin it completely? Because if you if you don't completely destroy it, you can re you can recover. Uh, you can't fly back over there, but I think there's like a reset option. We're still we're losing fuel. I guess we sprung a leak somewhere. All right, well this is not recoverable. So, and I think it's just going to go to zero fuel, and nothing's going to happen. Well. So let's start, let's try that one again. And I think we're going to have an entire new mission this time, uh, a new transport. But um, coming up to 20 minutes on this video, so we will have to uh, try again in the next part. So that was a complete flop, but hey, it happens sometimes. Even in Orbiter, sometimes I melt the XR2 on re-entry or something like that. So if you enjoyed watching this, uh, uh, this part, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video.